In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a subdivision on a parcel of land, complete with a road right-of-way and a cul-de-sac. The goal of this video will be to give you a quick overall view of how you might approach this on your own. I'll be using our subdivide software, but the same approach applies if you're using Procogo XL. The first thing I need to do is draw our parcel. Using the legal description, I could manually draw it using the tract command, but I can also copy and paste it into the automatic deed reader. The program scans the deed and breaks it down into its individual legs. If any issues were found, it would mark them with a red question mark beside the leg in question. Everything looks good, so I'll go ahead and accept it. And there's our parcel. Next, I'm going to draw the road right away with a cul-de-sac. Now, I could freehand this in, but if I want to be more precise, I can also use some of the tools at my disposal and construct this center line more precisely. First, I will draw it precisely down the center of the parcel using the line command and the midpoint snap properties. The cul-de-sac will be on the east side of the project, and I want the center of the cul-de-sac to be 153 feet from the east boundary line. I'm going to use the offset command to create a temporary line at 153 feet, and then trim the center line back to it. And I don't need the temporary line anymore, so I'm just going to delete it. The right of way is 25 feet either side of the center line, so I'll draw it in using the offset command. And now we will create the cul de sac. I'll start the command and review the parameters and press OK. We have a little cleanup to do here, and I'll take care of that with the trim command. Next, I'm going to use the site calculator to see just how many lots I can fit on this project. To use the site calculator, I must first create a tract of the right-of-way area that I want to exclude. So I'll start the tract command and then just trace around it. Now I'll start the site calculator and select the parcel that we want to subdivide, and then select a parcel that I want to exclude, which is the right-of-way. And then I need to enter the desired size for my lots, which is three-tenths of an acre. The site calculator gives us a wealth of information, but in particular, it tells us that given our desired lot size, we can indeed fit just over 10 lots in our project. Next, we're going to create the lots. To do this, I'll use a special routine called subdivide tract by parts. So I'll start the routine, and then tell it that we want to divide the parcel into 10 equal sized parts. Next, I'll tell it to start at the west side and work its way east. And I can also specify the exact bearing of new lot lines that'll be created. I specifically chose this bearing because it's perpendicular to the right-of-way. Now I'll finish up the command, and there are our lots. The lots on the west side of the project are perfect, but we need to do a little cleanup over here around the cul-de-sac. These two lots are clearly incorrect, so I'll just delete them. These next two lots are the correct size, but the east lot line is in the wrong place. I can fix that with the radial side area command. Next, I'm gonna start the track command and trace along our existing line work to create the lot that goes here in the northeast corner. And for this lot line, I'm just gonna approximate it. And that's because we're going to make it exact using the radial side method again. And for the last lot, all I need to do is just trace it in. Now 
Now let's turn on the area labels and see how we did. And they are all exactly the same. Next, I'm going to put in a 10 foot setback for each of the lots. And I'll once again use the offset commands to do that. And now I'm going to put in the line and curve annotations. I can clean up some of the annotations to make the drawing easier to read by reducing some of the clutter. For instance, I can edit our center line, click on annotations, and put both the bearing and the distance on the same side of the line. So I'll go ahead and do that. Be right back. For the curves over here on the cul-de-sac, I use the arc text command. These curves over here were too small to label this way, so I used the curve table routine and placed them down here in a curve table. So let's sit back and review what we've done so far. We've drawn up a parcel using the deed reader and then drew in a road right of way. Next, we use the site calculator to get a feel for how many lots we can expect to create, and then use the combination of routines to create our lots, each lot being exactly the same acreage and where all internal lot lines are nice and perpendicular to the right-of-way lines. We then created setback lines and then line and curve annotations, including a curve table. The project may not be finished yet, but it is well on its way, and although I sped things up considerably for this video, my actual time spent on it was only about 40 minutes. If you are considering a purchase, I hope this video has shown you what this software can do for you and your business. And if you already use our software, I hope that I've been able to show you some new methods that perhaps you haven't thought of yet to help you be more productive. If you have additional questions, please let us know. If you would like to find out more about our software products, please visit us at www.agtcad.com.